Hello, my name is Andre, and I have some new cheap tricks for you on the Octatrack. Today I want to fuck up a sample and then resample it and play it like a synth. So let's get started. It doesn't really matter what you sample, so I just sample my voice because this is the sound. And now I can look at the sample in the audio editor. Here's the waveform, and I start with um, normalizing it. First, I have to select it to get a proper uh, volume. Normalizing, and now it sounds like this. My voice, because this is the sound. My, vo my voice, because... And now I use some neighbor tracks and the scenes to um, apply a lot of effects to it. Start with the first... Um, with, with the actual effects of, of the track. And I press the scene button. Scene 9 is assigned to, to the scene. And then if I move the crossfader, the sample will start to fuck up. So just apply some filtering and some, some reverb, some distortion. And um, then I go to the next track and set this up as a, a neighbor track. And then I apply some of other effects here. Um, maybe a phaser. This is very speed. Feedback with depth contour. Ah, damn it. I have to assign it to the scene. So I reset the page by pressing the page button and clear and now I got it back and then I fuck it up on the scene button and this mix put it up feedback okay and I've got another effect slot here and there I choose the lo-fi and again on the scene button and the amount bit reduction and yeah this should this should make it good. And then also I can use um, the, th on the playback page, I can slow down the rate, maybe reverse it a little bit. And the, the pitch, of course. And let's see if I play it back now. I put a trick on the first bar. My voice, because this is the sound. My voice, because this is the sound. My voice, because this. So this is how it sounds with without the effects applied. And now if I start to push the the not the crossfader, the the sample mangling will start. My voice because this is the voice because Something like this. And now I use another track and resample this. I use internal sampling, so what I do is I go to the recorder page by function and record. And now if I press a trick here if I put a trick here it's a recorder trick and now it will record for let's say 16 steps and I set the source to the uh, to the neighbor track so it's track 2 because there is the the signal coming from and it's running now and if I start it Okay, it should have recorded something. Let's check it if it worked. Ah, yeah, and there's my fucked up sample. I normalize it again. Ah, damn it, I have to, I have to first make a selection and then edit, normalize, selection. Okay, and now listen to a fucked up sound. Pretty bad. So let's see if I got some get something out of this. If I go into my 
um, play mode. I use chromatic. And now let's see. to assign um, a shorter, make it shorter. Uh, let's see, edit, and make a selection, uh, just take a short portion out of it, and trim, so I trim it, mm -hmm. okay something like a single cycle waveform that's what I do right now and I trim it edit set end here and set okay pretty bad pretty bad isn't it why is it still running? That's something I don't understand. Um, <laughs> My voice, because the okay, this can be turned off. Okay, and let's see. Ah, oh, now it stopped. Good. And now I can start playing it like. Maybe some higher notes. If you press function and right arrow, you can have a higher octave. If you don't like what you hear, you can change the, the part. depends on what you want if you want a bass track or a, a lead sound that's gnarly that's gnarly and now if you uh, play it and maybe add some filter some reverb of cause a love reverb okay and now you get something like a synth sound and you can record a melody if you will I've put my metronome on you can't hear it on the video but I can hear it and now I can play <laughs> Thank you. 
you get the idea. Now you can start and play your octa track like a synth. That's a cheap trick. And my name is Andre. Thanks for watching.